Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to talk about the Webflow memberships beta and whether or not we should be using this to build our membership sites in 2023. Let's do it. Okay, so Webflow memberships is Webflow's native solution to building membership websites without having to use third-party apps like MemberStack 2.0 or things like that. Now, I've made a bunch of videos on how you can set up your membership site using MemberStack 2.0 in the past on this channel. I'll have those linked down below. But today I wanna to really dive into Webflow memberships, give you the pros and the cons, and then give you my final analysis on whether we should be using Webflow memberships to build our membership sites in 2023. So let's hop into Webflow here and take a look. All right, so the first pro that I really, really like about Webflow memberships is just the amount of quality templates that we can use that are essentially turnkey, ready to use right out of the box that MemberStack 2.0 didn't really have. They had a few, but you had to really get in there and manually set your thing up. So if we come to Webflow membership templates here, we can see we have a bunch of cool options right here for our membership sites. I've chosen this one right here, it's totally free, uh, called MemberBase, and I've cloned it for free. And immediately in the span of like five seconds, I had a turnkey working membership site right out of the box. It, it, it's, it's really quite impressive. We can see we have all our pages set up, we have contact pages, admin pages, um, which is really, really cool. And so if I publish this right now, I have a working membership site like that. I can style it how I want, make little tweaks to the design and everything like that, but this is ready to go. I don't have to set up anything else. It's all right here and ready to use. All right, so my second pro about the Webflow memberships beta is Webflow's done a really, really nice job of eliminating a lot of the manual tinkering that we had to do when we were using MemberStack 2.0. If you remember in that tutorial video, on every single login page and sign up page and the logout button, I had to add these custom attributes. I don't know if you remember this. I had to add these custom login attributes that would basically add the user to my member stack list. Another thing you had to do in member stack 2.0 is you had to set up all your manual redirects. So if you remember, like when we went to the sign up page and we hit the sign up button, we had to list what URL we wanted to redirect to or when they logged out, where would we redirect our user? Webflow's done an amazing job of eliminating both of these. So let me hop back in here to my template. You can see that the second I turn on my membership setting, I'm given these custom user pages down here, all right? So for example, I have a sign up page and you can see right here, I don't need a custom attribute. Webflow takes care of all of that for me. I have a login page right here, same thing. No custom attribute needed. It's also super, super easy to set up my manual redirects and much more intuitive. I can just come right here to this redirect fallback option and choose the page that I wanna send these people to upon login. It's that simple. So Webflow has done an amazing job, I think, in simplifying this whole process for us and taking care of a lot of this kind of grunt work automatically for us, so we don't have to worry about it. All right, another thing that I think Webflow has done a really, really nice job on is simplifying the way we have to structure these membership sites. Back in MemberStack 2.0, if you remember, we had to structure our website so intricately. We needed a home page, a login page, a sign up page, and then we needed a gated content folder with another home page that would only show to our logged in users with a logout button and a bunch of different changes and tweaks. Uh, and then inside of that, all of our gated content. It was way too difficult to structure our websites correctly and get any sort of working prototype. In Webflow memberships, Webflow has solved this in two main ways. Firstly, it's super simple to set up gated content. Instead of having to make that subfolder, all we have to do is create an access group and give that group access to whatever page we want gated. All right, and then we come to that page back over here and we just hit settings and gate it right here and, and list what access group has access to this page. The second thing they've done to solve this issue is I think their best innovation that I've seen in the space. It's awesome. Let me show you what I'm talking about. They have created this thing called visibility and user access. It's almost conditional visibility based on if your user is logged in or logged out. I think this is awesome because in MemberStack, I basically had to create two different home pages. One that was for people that weren't signed up or logged in, and another was the home page that people would get redirected to upon login or sign up that looked slightly different with different elements visible or not compared to the original home page. Here now though, we can see like, for example, I can hide this free sign up button to people that are logged in. So they're logged in, they don't need to see the sign up button. So what I can do is I can just come in here and I can add a condition. 
So element is visible when user state is logged in or logged out. So you can play with it here. So this is gonna be awesome because now I don't have to create two separate home pages. I can create one and set up this conditional visibility to my logged in users so that it just simplifies the entire build out process. It's awesome. So in all these ways, Webflow has simplified building the membership websites as compared to other third party solutions. All right, now let's talk about some of the cons. Webflow memberships is still in beta. Don't forget that. So it's not a finished product. And you can tell because there are some bugs that do limit your functionality. For example, this feature I just told you about, my favorite feature, it doesn't work when you choose is logged out. If I hit save here and I wanna hide this button when someone's logged out and I publish, it, it just won't publish. It just won't update. Um, so that that is very buggy. You can see it, it doesn't update. Um, so that's something I saw. Now again, this feature is gonna be awesome, but for me right now, it doesn't work in all instances, which is just not, it's not good. Um, the second negative that I found with this is it does cost more for this membership plan. This is an add-on to your just normal CMS plan that you pay for. I think it's $26 a month. So that is a little bit of a negative, but I guess it is cheaper than paying for your Webflow membership and then also your third-party membership. But still, it would be nice to have this just included in your base CMS membership. All right, so let me give you my final analysis. Should we be using Webflow Memberships Beta in 2023 to build our membership sites? My answer is yes, I think so. If Webflow can get rid of these bugs quickly, Webflow Memberships is going to be our answer and I don't think it's close. And here's why. Webflow has an amazing template library with all these turnkey templates. And I'm telling you, it takes five seconds to clone for free and you have a working membership site. It's really crazy. I've not found that other third-party solutions. But then mainly, Webflow has just done a great job simplifying and getting rid of all the tedious manual work we had to do in member stack, like manual redirects and custom attributes, and just automated all that for us. This is going to be a much simpler solution for us, and it's native inside of Webflow. So if you're already building your site out in Webflow, might as well just pay the six extra dollars to keep this in-house, all right? So if Webflow can get rid of these bugs, and finalize this product and get out of beta, I say Webflow Memberships is for you. So anyways, if you guys like this video, go down and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. If you have any questions, get down in the comments and let me know. Thank you all so, so much for being here and I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.